Last month, Texas State University suspended all frat and sorority activities after a student was found dead after attending a fraternity event. And Florida State suspended its Pi Kappa Phi branch after a pledge was found dead following a night of partying. Penn State, in the meantime, permanently banned Piazza's fraternity back in March. And the grand jury report today also called on the university to regulate drinking rather than hold a fraternity council responsible. It was with her ABC News, New York. Mario Batali is out as co-host of ABC's The View. ABC fired him amidst more allegations of sexual misconduct. A spokesperson for the network says after a thorough review, it terminated its relationship with him. And ABC says it's unaware of any other inappropriate behavior involving Batali while he was working there on The Chew. Oscar winner Dustin Hoffman is pushing back on allegations of sexual misconduct. Hoffman's attorneys called a claim detailed in variety, quote, defamatory falsehoods. One of the women, a friend of Hoffman's daughter, said he exposed himself to her at a hotel back in 1980 when she was 16 years old. Other women describe instances of groping and lewd behavior. Take a look at this dramatic rescue caught on camera. Firefighters saved a man and his dog from an icy pond in Illinois. After Chewy ran into the ice and fell through, his owner used a kayak to reach him. The kayak overturned, sending him into the water as well. Both were pulled to safety, and aside from being cold, they're both okay. Well, right now, Santa's still in the process of gathering gifts for Christmas, but he made an early drop-off for two sisters in Iowa who just wanted to be with their dad for the holiday. Take a look at this. Michelle and Ariel's father have been in the Navy for nine years, and he spent the last eight months at sea. Well, after visiting with Santa, they noticed a pretty big box near their Christmas tree, and here's what they found inside. <laughs> there he is, the big surprise, followed by a big hug from oh. Dad. Good, that is very... I was just happy. It felt good to actually, you know, hold them for once. <laughs> they were choking you, too. <laughs> they were hugging him so tight, they were, like, choking him. Well, even more good news. Their dad is home to stay for good. After finishing his last deployment, he now plans to go to college. Very cool. I mean, awesome. that's a huge box. I wonder how long it was in there before he could pop out. It's cool. I love these stories during the holiday yeah. seasons. And, and kids are like, oh, my God. Yeah. It's my parents. Totally my surprised. Mom and dad. <laughs> All right. So we have a little bit of snow on the way. And looking behind us right now, not a whole lot is falling around here. Yeah. However, north and west of town, it's beginning to fall. And this right here is a time lapse uh, from our weather bug network, Frederick. And you notice a little bit of snow as they move through this, beginning to stick on the pavement. Just a little tiny, tiny tiny bit. Roadways that are treated should not see a problem. However, uh, if your car is outdoors and you find yourself under the snow showers, may have to dust it off later on this afternoon and by four or five o'clock, this storm or snow shower activity will be history. Show you what's going on over at National Harbor this hour. Just a few flakes beginning to fall. This is looking over toward Roslyn and Old Town Alexandria, and we are going to look for the snow showers to continue to intensify as we move through the afternoon hours. This is what it looks like on Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar. If you're watching us in Frederick for the last hour or two, you have seen the snow showers along with very, very minor accumulations on roadways or parking lots and on windshields and on rooftops head closer to the D.C. metro area around the Capitol Beltway, Silver Spring, Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Upper Northwest D.C., Cleveland Park, Woodley Park, West End over toward uh, Trinidad area looking at snow shower activity at this time. But once again, nothing that is sticking, at least not inside the Capitol Beltway. That, that may change as we move through the mid-afternoon hours. Take a look at as we widen things out just a little bit. Uh, you'll notice the ripples in the atmosphere and powerful, powerful jet stream overhead with winds excess of 200 miles per hour. This is going to scoot the system out of here very, very fast. So by 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, that's why we're saying all this will be pretty much done with. Winter weather advisory set to go into effect less than an hour at 1 o'clock through the 7 o'clock hour. It does include the district, Arlington, Alexander, Prince George's, Montgomery, Frederick counties, Howard and Anne Arundel and points north and east. 
This will probably cancel out a bit earlier than that, but the reason why they have issued it is because it coincides with a busy rush hour commute on a weekday for the Washington metro area. Here's a freshly updated future cast for you by 2 p.m. in just about an hour and a half, looking at most of the snow activity just off toward the north and east of us. By 4 o'clock, it's well to the east, and by 6 o'clock, our skies begin to clear. However, with temperatures that are well below freezing, we will be looking at some slick spots on the roadways, especially roads and sidewalks that have not been treated. 29 degrees Dulles this hour feels like temperatures that are in the upper 20s west of town around 25 at Reagan National. Forecast high today may be a little bit optimistic at 35. Evening rush hour commute snow showers will come to an end with temperatures just around that freezing mark and our forecast for tonight is going to get cold. It's clearing skies 23 to 30 degrees. Wake up temperatures tomorrow will be in the middle to upper 20s and your day planner for tomorrow shows highs around 45 degrees with brighter skies. So good news there. 10 day outlook from Stormwatch 7 46 tomorrow 48 on Sunday lower to middle 50s by Monday and Tuesday, a brief cool down and then by Friday of next week we're at around 55 degrees. Weather alert day here at ABC 7. We'll keep you updated. Stay with us. We're back right after you this.